JJ just phoned, Bob. He said the wooden beam you ordered for Mr. Ellis' ceiling has just arrived. Thanks, Wendy. I'll pick it up on my way over to Mr. Ellis' cottage. Wow, wow. You don't want to come to Mr. Ellis' pilchard. Wow. What's the wooden beam for, Bob? I'm using it to replace one that's rotten. Who's on the job, Bob? I'll need you, Muck, and Lofty, and Dizzy. Isn't Wendy coming with us? Scoop and I will come over later, Dizzy. Will you bring the ceiling jacks with you, Wendy? Yes, of course I will, Bob. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. See you later. Okay, Wendy. Bye! be exactly the same color as Mr. Ellis's other wooden beams. Oh, no. Mr. Ellis wants all of them to look the same. You could treat it with some of this antique wax. That's a very good idea, JJ. So, Lofty, can you grab the beam? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Whee! Where do you want these sunglasses, Bob? I'll put them into Muck's dumper. Here you are, Bob. Pilchard? <laughs> She must have jumped in when you weren't looking, Bob. You know cats aren't allowed on building sites, Pilchard. I'll drop you off at the yard on my way to Mr. Ellis's. See you later, JJ. Bye, Bob. Bye, Pilchard. Mr. Ellis. Good, but um, it's not the same color as my beams. Trust me, Mr. Ellis. When I finish, it'll look exactly like the other old beams in your ceiling. Excellent, Bob. I'll go and make some coffee. Is Mr. Ellis's cottage very old, Bob? Yes, Dizzy. It's very, very old. Even older than you, Bob? Huh? <laughs> yes, much older than me, Dizzy. <laughs> That's really old, isn't it? <laughs> no. Let's see. This should be. Ah, oh, I wonder if that's a cross beam. Hmm, that's where the nails go. So. some cookies, Bob. Oh, that's great. Just what I need. Thanks, Mr. Ellis. I'm just going to feed Bertie and Frida. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Mm. I'll, mm, I'll keep the other cookie for a treat later on. Okay. Goggles on. Stand back, everybody. <laughs> But I thought I just took you back to the yard. Pilchard, come here. You mustn't play on building sites. It's too dangerous. Oh, no. I think I'd better put you in the house. Oh, Bob. Pilchard only wants to play. She can't, Dizzy. She might cause an accident. There. In you go. Sorry, Pilchard. You have to stay out of harm's way until I finish this job. There. That's the beam cut to size. Mr. Ellis? Uh, no, Bob. It's disappeared. You know, Bob, I've had a lot of cookies going missing lately. Oh, well. I'll call Wendy and tell her I'm ready to fit the beam. <coughs> Can you come over to Mr. Ellis's cottage right away, Wendy? Thanks. 
just don't know what's gotten into Pilcher today. <laughs> Pilcher still wants to play, Bob. Well, she shouldn't play in here while I'm working on a step ladder. Come on, Pilcher. Out you go. Okay, Dizzy, this is going to be very loud. <laughs> That's not very loud, Bob. Oh, it's not working. I better check the plug. Pilchard, what are you doing here? Oh, I've forgotten to plug it in. Explains it. It was the mice that made Pilchard act so strangely. <laughs> and ate my cookies. I should have listened to you in the first place, Pilchard. We'll have to find a new home for them. First, we have to finish fixing Mr. Ellis's ceiling. You're right, Wendy. Take care of them, Muck. We won't be long. You better come with me, Pilchard. Thank you, Bob and Wendy. That's a marvelous job. Thanks, Mr. Ellis. Now, we still need to find a nice, safe place for these field mice. <laughs> uh, what about a field, Bob? Good idea, Muck. Can you take them to Farmer Pickles' field? Muck to the rescue!